Hi, Brittany Hink here with Human Resources IQ. I am here with Eileen Morgan from Delaware North. Uh, I will let her do a short little introduction. I'm Eileen Morgan, Chief Human Resources Officer with Delaware North Companies. We're a 100-year-old hospitality company. We are privately held and family-owned, and we celebrate, as I said, our 100th anniversary in 2015. Wow, 100 years. Uh, tell me, what have you done to celebrate that? Um, have you done any, any fun activities with employees? Or? Yes, we've done a lot of fun activities. We have a very distributed footprint for our employees. We're in the UK, Australia, Canada, the United States, um, Singapore, and so we wanted to um, celebrate and with everyone. So we took a global approach to the celebration, but we made it local. Um, we asked for creativity from all our employees in terms of sharing and celebrating with our strategic partners, with our clients, with our employees, with our customers. I noticed that Delaware North recently launched a new LMS platform. Tell me, what were the initiatives behind that or what was the reasoning behind that? So very important that we make available to our employees that we're flexible and we make available tools um, to help um, learning, also to help them understand the, the fundamental standards of operations. And so it's very important that we meet people where they are. We put together a focus group across our um, of management members across our company and we asked them what they thought, what they wanted, what they thought would be helpful. And so as a result of that um, initiative, we selected our learning platform and we included them in evaluating how we uh, bring it to market, which, may, which is bring it to them. And uh, it's very exciting. So it has a lot of capabilities and it meets the needs of our business as defined by our management. Delaware North continues to create world-class experiences for both customers and employees. Um, how do you guys keep up with the multi-generational workforce? Uh, what are you doing to keep up with all these different generations and now uh, Generation Z is fixing to start joining the workforces? I know, very, very <laughs> exciting. So again, it, I think as a theme, we try to meet people where they are. And so with our workforce, um, really, and with the millennials who are very transparent, open to feedback, um, a couple examples. And then with the traditional workforce, um, which is the, the maybe early retirees, we have people that retire from their career profession and they come and work in hospitality because it's seasonal. And they love meeting people. They love the destination markets we serve. For example, in Yellowstone National Park, who wouldn't want to spend their <laughs> summer in Yellowstone? And so we have millennials and we have t a traditional, the RV culture there. And, and what we do is we try to help them learn from each other and we pair them up. And there is so much um, that all the generations can learn from each other. The millennials will be um, teaching the traditionalists the enabling technology. The tra traditionalists help the millennials um, think through how to handle practical people issues and, and how to make it about the customer consistently and how to stay present in the um, service of the business. Yeah, I like so. you said the, uh, the RV, the RV generation. <laughs> That's nice because I know I would like to it go to Yellowstone so cool. for well, a summer and and we hit, we include housing is included, so oh, you, wow. they bring their own housing too. So that's it's true. Very cool. Oh, that's a very neat experience. Yeah. I'm sure the employees really enjoy that. So, what are, in your opinion, CHROs? What are the top three priorities for 2016 and even into 2017? So I, I think a couple. First of all, leadership. Um, be bold with your leadership in that culture building. Our culture. Our cultures make our businesses happen. And so the culture building of the organization to integrate, meld, blend all these different technologies and, and changes in business so that the future of our organization and any organization stays relevant with the markets they serve. The second is talent. And um, the focus, people make businesses happen and so the people in the business the culture of the business I think are key critical 
um, things that for 2016 and beyond will always be at the top of the agenda. I think the third thing for um, my business that I think might be con um, consistent in terms of a priority in 2016 and beyond is uh, enabling focus and investment in places like talent and culture. How do we make our HR services more efficient and effective, the right work, the right cost to create capacity to invest in people um, and in culture? And so that's a priority we have. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And, and that's definitely something that I keep reading about and keep hearing about within the HR world, as I like to call it. Um, and then one question, I always like to ask something fun. So tell me an accomplishment, um, something that you've done that you're most proud of um, in your HR world or your roles and responsibilities. Okay. <laughs> I think, so I've been in my role just short of 15 years, and I would say something I'm most proud of is in order to, as I was saying about um, business, staying relevant, I think in, in order to stay relevant, you need to make, you need to be uncomfortable because you need to change to stay relevant. So I think one of the things I'm most proud of is changing, staying uncomfortable, being uncomfortable, um, challenging my peers, my coworkers, to take on different assignments or go to places that are uncomfortable and, and having the acceptance that um, as a team and as a group that we're going to do that. I think if I yeah. had to pick one thing, that would be it. That's great. No, changing is always hard for people, though. So I think if you're constantly changing and consistently doing things to, to become better um, within your role. I think that's always a great idea and I think some advice that a lot of people could take as well. I think, uh, I, think I should always keep changing as well. I love that. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for meeting us today. I uh, definitely enjoyed it and looking forward to, to seeing what you guys do in the future uh, for the next 200 years. <laughs> thank you very much, Brittany. Thank you.